What's up everyone, this is Don't Poke Josh, and this is a very quick video about backing up your save games, uh, finding them in Satisfactory. Now, there's been a few updates since the first time I put out a video, which is about two years ago, uh, so we'll get straight into it and find out where your save games are and what to do with them. Now, the save games are in your local app data folder. The easiest way of, doing, of getting there is using this link, which will be in the description, uh, underneath your local app data, factory game, saved and save games. There's a few other folders in the middle, but let's go straight in. You can copy and paste it into your Explorer. You'll find that there are three folders. The first on this list is the uh, Steam folder. You'll recognize it by a shorter list of numbers, a shorter name by numbers. And then at the bottom, you have the Epic version. So that is a longer hexadecimal code with letters and numbers. They each have their own separate files for their own cloud save updates. In the middle here, you have a common folder, which is so that you can upload uh, or add a file that can be seen on both versions and then saved respectively. As you can see, I have all my save games here. Uh, I have far less in Steam, but if you wanted to copy one out of here and back it up, you could just simply copy this. Go over to where you want to save it. In my case, I go back one folder into the save folder. And you can see I've got a backup from update five, a backup from update four, and I've got this older backup, but I'm not sure when I made that. But I also have older backups that I've now removed because I don't need them. You can, of course, copy the full folders or both of them, and you can move uh, game files between the two. As mentioned, the middle folder common is a shared folder. So if I was to copy in a file that I've just downloaded from the Satisfactory Calculator map and then go into the Steam version of the game, click load, you'll see that whole lot of mess appears on the top here, uh, as well as Catch the Boomstick. And if I go back, you'll see that Catch the Boomstick is the Catch Maze, the only other file in there. And if I was to delete whole lot of mess from here, and go back into there and I'll just click load to refresh then it disappears so that is a shared folder that you can use between the two launchers in order to move anything back into those save game folders it's as easy as I've just done dragging and dropping you can go into any of these save game folders pick the file you want and drag it back over um, I'm not going to do that today because all of my files are correct but you could add as many as you want and um, fill your save games with complete chaos if you really wished. As I also mentioned that the folders are used for cloud saves. So if I add one into here, so whole on a mess once again appears in that section. Uh, it will appear in the Epic game. But if I went to launch the Epic version, it will instantly say, hang on a second, there is a new file. Now, nine times out of 10, you'll be adding a file to your local file, your local folders, and you'll want to back up the cloud. If you are moving from one PC to another and you haven't used the other PC, then you're going to be downloading from the cloud and the cloud will you'll want to download to the machine. Be aware that if there are any differences between the two files, you will overwrite them. So therefore, if you did play on that second machine and you downloaded stuff from the cloud on your first machine that is newer, you will overwrite any progress you made on any other save. So if you're sharing PCs, be very careful when doing this. As always, this is a great time to back up. In this case, I need to upload to the cloud to carry on. And there we go. That's pretty much it from me. Remember, it's always good to keep back up your save games. If you have any further questions, do leave them in the comments below. I will try and respond to them. And if you've managed to make it to the end after uh, coming from the older video, then once again, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that uh, like button if it's helped you at all. And I will see you all later.